As you can see, if space has no boundaries, then it's really not useful for the nervous system to understand how to move within the space. There needs to be a boundary so that the nervous system can understand uh, how the space is and what the space is doing. How is that boundary made in a human body? Everyone look at the screen. It's made by that. It's made by creating a capsule. A capsule is not a something. It's just the deepest layer of bioflow bio tissue closest to the space. But because it's the deepest layer of tissue closest to the space, the mechanoreceptors that live within the tissue that make the capsule, as soon as movement is initiated, it is that signal that will be the first signal to feed back to the central nervous system telling it how the movement is going. Ergo, if there's something wrong with your capsule or the capsular space, you're gonna have a really hard time teaching an athlete how to move better. The capsule denotes the space, it governs the space. The capsule itself dictates the space, so to speak, because it is what sends back information to the central nervous system to tell it how the space is doing. So you have the capsule dictating the space, you have the cavity, the synovium, the synovial fluid, the cartilage, the innervation, all within the space. And this space is a dynamic organ system, which, by the way, is privy to entropy. So when someone comes in, you know, what exercise are we going to do today? We're going to do the bench press. We're going to do a linear motion. That linear motion is not going to be effective in stimulating all of the mechanoreceptors in your capsule. That's why we created controlled articular rotations as a way to continuously stimulate capsular tissue to ensure that we are constantly warding off entropy such that the mechanoreceptors remain healthy, such that the feedback mechanism to our central nervous system produces clean and effective afferents such that we can select for better human movement. Now, why is the capsular information so important? Let's go over in basic neuroanatomy 101. When information comes from, six, let's say from a, a muscle spindle, or from skin, the information is gonna come via afferent uh, paths and it's gonna come into the dorsal root horn. At the dorsal root horn, there's a decision-making process. And I say decision-making process and I mean it. If you don't understand what I mean, please look up Seth Grant and look up the concept of synaptome architecture to convince yourself that there is logic and intelligence even in neuronal connections apart from the brain. We have no time for that today, but I will say, that most afferent information, when it comes into the dorsal root home, a decision is made. Should I kick this up to the central nervous system, to the brain, or do we have a reflex at the spinal cord level that I can use to deal with this problem? So it goes into the dorsal root home, a decision made, and then that neuron synapses with, with, with what's called an interneuron, which will then synapse either on a path going up the spine or a path going out the ventral horn to try to deal with the problem. Because there's an interneuron, there is a time delay. It's a very small delay, but there is indeed a time delay where the decision has to be made. Where is there no time delay? There is no time delay coming from type two mechanoreceptors, which are low threshold, rapidly adapting mechanoreceptors. And guess where there's a lot of type two mechanoreceptors? In the deepest portion of the capsule. There's four types of mechanoreceptors. Type one is superficial in the superficial capsule. Type two is in the deep capsule. Type three is in what we call capsular thickenings, popularly known as ligaments. And type four are pain mechanoreceptors. The information coming from the type two receptors, a lot of which are located in the deep capsule, which gets the signal of movement first, they have what we call direct cortical representation, whereby information from those mechanoreceptors bypasses the dorsal root horn, does not have an interneuron delay, and makes it directly up to the thalamus where the information gets relayed into the, all of the areas of the cortex which are there to control human movement. Premotor cortex, motor cortex, supplementary sensory area, sensory cortex, cerebellum, all controlling human movement. Think about it. Why does the brain want the information specifically from the capsule and why does it want it first? Because preservation of the capsule is the outcome measure that governs all motor outputs.